Tourville, France, 1944. A place as foreign as the other side of a wall. As close as my flesh. Should I call it a kind of sex? So tiresome. So deathless. So resistant to imprisonment. So fierce and unapologetic. Present and hidden. Invisible and absent. And yet here. In between the letters. In between the lines. In between the words. In between. Should I give it a name? I see something that can't be grasped. Not by me. Not by me. Miss France, 1944. So near, so distant. Something has happened. I see ground and blood and stone and wind. Word and phrase and symbol. Dream and myth and shadow. Possible movement which emerges from the depths. I see a boy with a thin jacket full of books pressed tightly against his stomach. He doesn't want to show them. He doesn't want anyone to know that he wants such things. Saarbrücken, Germany, 1945 So remote, so forbidden Like old tales of ghosts and monsters A place filled with whispers and half-spoken hints I have noticed an unexpected degree of change. The knot of my consciousness attempts to relate to something out there, while also pointing inwards. In a search for self-knowledge, I see a boy who is touched by the sporadic affections of a few friends. He can never let go of them, even as the years pass, 
and I become something different. He can't see it. He's still holding on to those few moments of tenderness. Oberstein, Germany, 1945 A place so common Strange that I see it this way I feel a vortex of desire and energy Which I place among unknown elements Ultimately, I know nothing. I can only know nothing. It all reminds me of boys who grew up without ever grasping the strangeness of asking who they were, who they might become. I see a pair of eyes, a pair of hands, and a room full of toys. world of complex reconfigurations. Nobody will ever remember this. Not even me. <laughs> <laughs> 